the Miu Mini V2 was excellent. It was only a matter of time until the next variation arrived. Post! So this was labeled V2 and V3, and I got it in black. You know, a bit like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Set us back $58, and the case is hard, slightly squishy due to the zip in the middle. Inside the box, it seems to be the same as the last revision. I love this little thing. And yeah, this is the transparent black version, and it's looking pretty nice. The instruction manual exists. In here we have a micro SD card, 32 gigabytes, and a micro SD USB adapter. Last thing in here is a USB C cable so we can charge the device. Just insert the micro SD and see what we have. And yeah, so far, the same as the last revision. Just gonna check which firmware version this has. And yes, it has April 2022, which means it's already compatible with Onion OS. As I set this up earlier for my V2, it should work straight away. And we're in. As the spec is identical to the earlier Mi Mini V2, all of the games and emulators work as well as they did before. And as Onion OS keeps getting updated, we'll have additional systems as well as fixes. It's also best to use your own ROMs as well as a genuine branded microSD. But for the time being, we'll check out the card that came with the system. So all these emulators are already on it, along with some games. It's always better to install your own ROMs or things like this will happen. Using the microSD card that came with it is usually fine for consoles such as the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, but again, we have problems with the high-pitched sound in Game Boy, and also in the PlayStation emulator, we had delayed audio. Remember, this indeed can be fixed by using Onion OS, so it's not that big of a problem. If you haven't noticed yet, this device has a different issue altogether. Let's put it side by side, next to the Miu Mini V2. The start and select buttons on this one are much quieter than the ones on the V2. The D-pad is a little firmer, and not as squishy. And the chocolate candy buttons are identical. They feel pretty decent with their soft, tactile touch. Like how I run my fingers down the curves of Beverly's body. The shoulder buttons feel tighter and better built, whereas the ones on the V2 feel a little loose in comparison. Another difference can be seen on the battery pack. Both of them are 2000 milliamps, and the V2 has a shiny sticker on both sides. V3 has a matte sticker, and it's only on the outside. Even when we use the same display settings, we can see there's something slightly odd with the new version. The colors lack the same punch, and the white does not seem as bright. There is something we can do, which is change color settings. Not ideal, but we can get pretty close. So it's quite difficult to get the same colour as the V2, but we still have a low latency handheld with slightly better controls. To make sure we didn't get a faulty display, we actually bought another V3, so it definitely is using a different display, and is a hardware revision of the Miu Mini. So rather than keep comparing it to the last model, let's see what this thing can do. We'll use Onion OS in the first game, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Advance Wars. River City Ransom. F Zero. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Mm. 
Virtua Fighter. GTA 2. Andro Dunos. And Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. As the screen is glossy, it's quite difficult to see in the sun, but with its small size, we can take it out for a walk. It's not too large to be cumbersome in your pocket, and we can just take it anywhere. Another great use would be for toilet breaks at work. And to play this one-handed, it's not that easy. At just under $60, we can still recommend the Mi Mini V3. Better controls and a worse screen, this is one step forward and one step back. As always, a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon and anyone who just watches our videos. And if you don't mind, I'm going to sit back, relax and play Streets of Rage. I don't think you perving over Blaze counts as playing Streets of Rage. Besides, what is with your hairy gorilla arms? I would offer you a banana. But the only one I have is in my pants. Fine. Ignore me. I will catch you later. <laughs>